Hi and welcome back to Free Science Lessons. In the last video we started looking at the properties of water and how these properties explain the roles of water in biology. Now one really important role of water is as a solvent. Water is an excellent solvent. In other words, lots of substances can dissolve in water. Both eukaryotic and prokaryotic cells contain a large amount of dissolved substances. For example, the chemicals involved in metabolic reactions such as respiration, as well as the enzymes needed to carry out these reactions. Bodies of water, such as ponds and rivers, contain dissolved oxygen, and this is used by organisms living in the water to carry out respiration, and this makes water an excellent habitat for these organisms. Now, because water is such a good solvent, it can be used to transport substances, and a good example is in the blood plasma. Blood plasma is the liquid part of the blood, and this contains a large number of dissolved substances. These include carbon dioxide, mineral ions, such as the sodium ion, and chemicals such as glucose and amino acids. Water is also used to transport substances in the xylem vessels of plants. Water in the xylem contains dissolved mineral ions, such as the magnesium ion. Magnesium ions pass into the plant roots from the soil. They're transported in the xylem from the roots to the leaves. Once in the leaves, the magnesium ions are used to make chlorophyll for photosynthesis. So as you can see, because water is such a good solvent, it makes an excellent transport medium. Now, if we look again at the xylem, there's another property of water which makes it ideal for its role. Water molecules tend to stick together, and scientists call this cohesion. This is due to the hydrogen bonds between water molecules. Cohesion allows long columns of water to travel in the xylem tubes, and again, this makes water ideal as a transport medium in plants. Cohesion also causes surface tension where water meets air. Surface tension is useful as it allows the surface of water to act as a habitat, for example, for insects such as pond skaters. Okay, we're going to finish now by looking at one final role of water. Water plays a really important role in metabolic reactions. For example, water is a reactant in many different reactions. These include hydrolysis reactions and in photosynthesis. Water is also produced in certain metabolic reactions, and these include condensation reactions and aerobic respiration. And we're going to take a closer look at all of these reactions in later videos. Okay, so hopefully now you can describe how the properties of water link to the roles of water in biology. Thank you.